on this week's episode. We see our two heroes, Jason and Eli, venture to get their beloved beer. Hey guys, um, so yeah, welcome back to another video as Gabe would say. Gabe's obviously not here. Um, he's at home soaking in his own sorrows because he got dumped today. So shout out to you, Gabe, wherever you are drinking. This one's for you, buddy. So, um, yeah, let's get things started. So Eli's still here, though. Hey. So our first beer we got which is by Ten Barrel Brewing Company. It's called Trail Beer. Um, it's the Northwest Pale Ale version. Um, and immediately right off the bat, when you hold the can, there's got like some weird... It says remove to recycle, so I'm assuming the lid or the label comes off? Looks like it. So let's just see how that works. Oh. Oh, well that didn't work so well. <laughs> Oh, you think it's just... <coughs> and then... <coughs> I mean, it's kind of working, I mean... Presto changer, you just got a silver can. <laughs> so, they make it so you can recycle... Uh, I'm assuming this plus the can? I don't, I don't understand why that's a thing, but... Yeah, I mean, most stuff is just on the metal itself, right, right. so... and you're just recycling it anyway, so... I mean, look at this. It's like the most generic beer can you can get. <laughs> I kind of like it. Like, all we have to do now is write beer, and now <laughs> we know we can't get sued if we ever make a movie on anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's all I found on there, too, was their website. So, um, so Gabe's here with us in spirit, so... Yeah, his ghost is here with us. The Chungus... Um, so the details on this beer was all I could find was its availability is year round. Um, it comes in a six pack, uh, one sixth of a barrel or a half a barrel. So you could buy a goddamn, you could buy a keg of this apparently, or maybe a pony keg. I don't know which one. Well, hopefully it's worthy of getting a keg for this stuff. Um, the hops variety are Chinook, Comet, and Galaxy. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, so the flavor profile is refreshingly bright body. And first of all, Cassie, is the microphone off? I've got to make sure that's on before we get too fucking far. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a refreshingly bright body. It has nuances of fresh citrus and pine. Oh, pine. So, uh, the alcohol con is, content is 5%. So that's, I mean, that's really all I got on it. Mm, seems like a basic beer. <clears throat> Citrus, though, so it might be like a Kona. Well, 
find out. Let's find out. You ready? I just like this can that's so fun. <laughs> well, are you gonna seriously save the can now? No. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, this was, uh, the best buy date on this was from February of this year, so it may not be the it Smells best. fine. That's a... Pine. I can kind of smell the pine on it. It smells like... It smells like trees. <laughs> it smells like you're in the middle of a forest. Why would you be drinking expired beer? Because we didn't notice. Not until we got home and I was like, hey, Eli, look. Oh. I swore it was 24. <laughs> I swore the thing said 2024. Nope. She's checking out. Alright, well. Well, let's chance it now before we back out. Cheers. Bitter. Ooh. Very bitter. Ugh. That one. Does it taste? I've never had expired beer. Is this what it tastes like? No. I mean, it's. That's just the best by date, so it might be. We'd have to get some really fresh one to be sure. But okay, well, yeah, that's, I can't find the box in there. Because it's in the freezer. No. That's very, very bitter. <coughs> it tastes like you're eating a forest. Like, just going and gnawing on a tree. <laughs> so, basically like we're logging companies? Yes. Now I know why it's called trail beer. Because you're supposed to drink this, I guess, on the trail. What, so you can get messed up and then walk into Bigfoot's lair? Yep. Or in a bear's lair. Or a fox or a coyote or... I don't even think they want to drink this stuff. So I got... Well, it's great for the... Oh! It's good for the environment. Because it's got recyclable cans and the label comes off to be recycled. So this is great for the environment. And why does it taste so terrible? Because it comes from the environment. <laughs> it's made with fucking tree. How do you make how do you make beer from trees? I don't know. They I mean, make syrup from sap, so this it's, I, I have no idea. I mean unless it tastes like paper. Here, try Here. it. <clears throat> There's that for you. Yeah. I smell the citrus, and it does not smell good mixed with pine. No, it, it is not good. I mean, it's not red stripe <laughs> bad, because there's at I least some... I taste the pine. Ugh. <laughs> it's not red stripe yeah. bad, but it's uh, bitter. Ugh, pine and beer, no. <laughs> I'm definitely saving one of these for the chungus, so he could see it, <laughs> taste it. So drinking expired beer, the simple answer bad. is yes. So you can drink. Well, you, of course you could drink it. It's just flat. I mean, this just, isn't. I won't say it's flat. It's extremely but. resistant to spoiling. <coughs> Whatever it's that just, means. Like jerky. It just tastes like you're eating a damn. I feel. That's the funny thing. You could smell the damn pine. Ugh. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this taste out of my mouth later though. Ugh. So, thank God for Dr. Peppa. See if that takes it away. No, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. It probably makes it even worse. Huh? It does. It makes it ruins that. Oh. I can't get that aftertaste out of my mouth. Maybe our next beer will. Yeah. I'm hoping this does not taint what's possibly a good beer. You want some water? Ugh, yes, please. Ugh. This is. I mean, I hate to see beer go to waste, so I'm gonna try to finish it. But is this worse than Red Stripe? Red stripe. It's up there. Red it's, Stripe is worse. It's close. Like it's a very close second because this pine is not helping at all, and it's so bitter. I mean, okay, I'll say this. Red Stripe tasted like dirty dish water. This tastes like dirty dish water with pine mixed in there. Like, so you added a little bit of pine salt? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It tastes like pine salt, but the citrus pine salt. If that makes any sense. 
I mean, if I could say anything about it, it's definitely flavorful. Viewers, I am doing this for you. You all made me do this. It's it's not good. I mean, I might. <sighs> How? Let's see. Thank you, Cassie. Would you? So, if you had, if you were just like completely drunk. No. And this Dude. is all you had left. No. With you, no. I might go for it, actually. No. No. I might stop saying no. I'm I... sorry, man, but this stuff, does... I can't think of anything this would go well with. Absolutely jack shit. Should we get the chungus on the phone? Yes, get yes. the chungus on the phone. I'll say this. You will appreciate the taste of water the more you, <laughs> the more you got to deal with this stuff. Get, uh... Get Facebook Messenger up on there. Let's see if we can get him in on this. Oh, God, that was, that's so gross. Firefox is what you use, right? Yeah. No, don't double click oh. it. You're going to get two windows. No. Yeah. No. No. There's no two windows. Okay. Second one's coming. Excuse me. Ugh. What is this stuff? Uh, trail beer. This is gonna lead you on a trail, all right. A trail of sadness and sorrow. <coughs> Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. We're gonna try and get the chungus on. So, uh, unfortunately, since I'm on the webcam, I don't have a second one. I can't get Gabe on the dig with this. <coughs> Because, um, yeah, because I'm using the camera to talk to you guys, so, but, so, is it worse than the sake, though? So what, we're still saying that Red Stripe's the worst? Red all? Stripe's the worst. This is second worst. Even worse than the sake? Well, yeah, because like I said, like I said, sake I can have with, like, salmon or some sushi or something. I, I can have food with the sake, and it'll be fine. This, I can't think of having with anything. To be honest, I don't, even, I don't even want to finish it. Come on, Eli, you can do it. Alright, if I chug this... Oh, don't chug it. <laughs> why? That, uh, I couldn't imagine chugging this. Ugh. God, that's so bad. Ugh. It doesn't want to stay down. Ugh. <coughs> I mean, dude, I have eaten some gross stuff in my time. Why is there pine in this? <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? So Ten Barrel Brewing Company. No. Ah. It says drink beer outside. Now I know why, because it makes you want to throw it back up. Ugh. Definitely. This is not, not not good. To quote Filthy Frank, This this is not okay. This needs to stop <coughs> now. This is cancer. <coughs> I do like the can though. Can I keep the can? No. Ugh. Yeah, I, the can is better than the stuff inside the can. Do we have a Sharpie? Could I write just beer on here? No. Why won't you let me do anything? Heavy. I don't even think no. <laughs> She's even look at you like, Dad, no. Uh, puppy, should he keep the can? No, I'm not going to let him, Abby. It's okay. Ugh, this stuff is so gross. <sighs> All right. Actually, no, I think she's looking at you to... You're not getting any. Just here, smell it. Yeah, it smells like pine salt, huh? <laughs> you want some of my beer, puppy? <laughs> nope. You can't have any. <laughs> Don't condone under. Well, you're older than 21. You're like 60 something. Don't condone under species drinking. Unless it's monkeys. Monkeys? I, I gave monkeys at the zoo gum once. Because one, there's a part in the fence where, you know... Okay, totally off topic here. I don't know why the fuck I'm telling you this, but... 
This is a beer review show, and here we are. That, they, so you know where the right glass is, where you can see the monkeys and stuff. Right yeah. next to it, they have the bamboo like fence looking thing. Uh -huh. There's a little spot in there <coughs> where you can just stick your fingers through it. And I didn't know that there's a monkey like right there. Yeah. I had my fingers right there, and it reached out and it grabbed my fucking hand. I was like, ah, scared the shit out of me. And so we're just sitting there, me and my buddy, we're just sitting there watching these damn monkeys for like an hour. I swear to God, everybody thought we were high because we were just sitting there laughing our ass off on that little bench right there. Because we gave it gum. Because <laughs> all I had on me. I was like, dude, should I give it a stick of fucking gum? So yeah, I ended up giving it, giving it gum and ate it. I don't think it chewed it at all. I just fucking ate it. <laughs> it was like, oh, that was disappointing. But, uh, I wonder if that monkey's still alive or if I killed the monkey. Uh, <laughs> let's... Doesn't we don't <laughs> talk, we don't say the name of the zoo. Now I'm gonna have to edit that out and put the beep over it. Okay, let's hope the zoo doesn't find out about this. That was, it was a long time ago. But, Monkey, if you're out there watching, I'm sorry, I gave you gum. <laughs> or maybe the monkey's ghost could be haunting you. It came back in the form of this beer. Yeah. Get you back. Like the monkey more. phase no. through the beer. <laughs> I'd rather mix my Pepsi with the Smirnoff ice. Ooh, Again, you good. will appreciate the taste of water once you drink this beer. Let's see how well it goes with Sprite. Well, dude, considering that's probably already watered down. Well, yeah, this and soda good. don't mix either. You guys can't see this down here, but there's a dog just sitting here staring at me. Does it move down? Yeah. Hi, puppy. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Okay, that's enough of my crotch. <laughs> Nobody wants to see my crotch. No, we want to see mine. Is that good? A little bit more. Up. That's fine. That's fine. <coughs> <coughs> so. At a, what have we been rating it? Five or ten? I don't even remember. You didn't rate it yet. What We're do you just think? Putting uh, it second to worst to what red did we, beer. What do we give stripe. Red Stripe? I think Red Stripe is a four. I'm going to give this a four and a half. It's a little better, but it is getting there. Pine doesn't help it. What are you giving it out of ten? I don't, do you taste any citrus? I don't taste any citrus, dude. I just taste the bitterness and the smell of the pine. So weird that you could smell the damn tree. Man, this is like... Yeah. I'm going to have the biggest poop tomorrow because of this beer, I'm sure. <laughs> Same here. It's going to just be like fire coming out of my ass tomorrow. So, to anybody who doesn't like taking medicine but likes drinking beer, Possible fiber in this. <laughs> oh god, that sounds uh, gross. Cause you made me do it. Do I need to empty the little trash can out and you guys can use it as a puke bucket? Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> Cause that will make me puke seeing the bottom of that thing. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I want to so, burp, but it won't. What are you giving it at ten? Uh, okay, uh, I don't know. God, this is so close to damn red stripe. I'm gonna whatever I gave red stripe. It's, this is exactly the same. I think you gave it a. I think you gave it a three or a four. It's it's down there, bad. I'm avoiding this beer at all costs. If it's the only beer at a party I'm going to, I'd rather go to another party and get. Steal their beer. Now I know why this why this is still sitting in there after it expired. Because fucking, I'm surprised they didn't have dust on it. Really, the box. But that liquor store has gone downhill. I mean, their their shelves weren't even really stocked. They're like the not the, even the coolers. Down. And they didn't have goddamn evil eye, Chris. Fucking told me they did. No, they didn't. We looked. So Chris, I may not have met you, but this is your fault. Yep. Sorry, and also yours, right. Troy. Troy? Yes, Troy. Troy who? My friend Troy. It's his fault, because it's his fault for everything. Oh, yeah. Yep, uh, yeah, bad beer, bad beer. So, Maybe good for the environment, but bad for your 
environment or your body's environment. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know, but all right, onward to the next one. Okay, so Eli, what beer do you got for us today? That's so the beer I got is Tommy Knocker Small Patch Pumpkin Harvest Ale. I know it's nowhere near Halloween time, so or anything close. So I wonder why this is still there. Best Buy. 513 of 19. My birthday? So. So it expired <laughs> on my birthday? <laughs> wow. We're not going back to that liquor store. <laughs> they <haven't> just... <laughs> no, we didn't get this at that liquor store. We got it from the other one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but. Wow. So all I know about Tommy Knockers is this is a brewery out here in Colorado. Um. Yeah, but I've never had any... I don't think I've ever... Oh, wait, I did have... I think I've had this before, actually. I've seen Tommy Knocker, but never this one, so... Because I think they had, like, a variety pack once, and I think I got it. <sighs> I think they had that this in there. Maybe. Right. <laughs> Let's see what this smells like. Can't be worse than the pine. I smell a hint of pumpkin, mm. but it smells. It smells like it smells like nutmeg, like like pumpkin spice. So yeah, it smells like pumpkin pie. Actually, I guess you'd say like a sour pumpkin pie, and like not a pumpkin pie I'd want to eat. But mm. let's try yeah. it. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this one on the first testing. It's interesting. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, nowhere... I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as that last one we had or the red stripe. No, not, not by far. This one I could actually... I'll be able to finish this one. Yeah. <clears throat> This one, it leaves the aftertaste like you just ate pumpkin pie. Even though I'm still trying to get the other taste out of my mouth in that fucking other beer. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not bad, though. Yeah, it's, it's alright. I mean, very middle-of-the-road type of beer. I mean, it's definitely leaning more towards the pleasant side. Come on, you tried the other one. <laughs> Come on, this one's better. It doesn't have that awful pumpkin smell. Or, not pumpkin, pine. Wrong pee. Yeah. It's pumpkin just... does not belong in pie. In pie? In that pie. <laughs> does not belong in beer. Uh, <coughs> it's not bad. Oh. It's just bland as hell. <laughs> to quote Gordon Ramsay, it, it's bland. There's, there's no seasoning. It it's just tastes like... A, it tastes like watered-down pumpkin. Well, like that Filling. pumpkin like eggnog or whatever. Because, I mean, that has more of a oh. pumpkin flavor than this does, in my it, opinion. It's like, okay, um, it tastes like watered-down pumpkin ice cream. Mm, yeah. I can taste it. I mean, it doesn't have... I mean, that's all you taste is just a hint of pumpkin. That's all. I mean, nothing else in there. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't really have that good of a beer flavor, too. This is the other one, so it's still gross. Yeah, the other one's still gross. You don't think that compromised anything, right? Maybe, because I can still taste it. The pine? <clears throat> Yeah, but you're right. At least I could finish this. So let's read a little bit about it. It says, uh, <clears throat> Tommy Knocker slipped into the mining camps of Idaho Springs in the 1800s with the discovery of gold in our mountains and streams. <clears throat> These mischievous elves, though hardly ever seen, were often heard singing and working. They guided many fortunate miners from harm's way 
and to the gold that they sought. Hmm. So that's huh. what so this dude's an elf. I thought he was just a miner. Uh, <laughs> I guess the little pointy ass ears would give it away. I thought it was just a miner too. I mean, Tommy Knocker. So, did they name him Tommy, and he would just like knock on the thing, on the rock, and go, "Here, lads, here, hi, here, lads. Here's the gold that you seek." I don't know why I'm Irish. I'm not even from Ireland. <laughs> Lives in a damn cave in the woods, in the hills of Colorado. So, so we'll keep. Um, this beer, we'll keep one of each. We're going to have the Chungus try them next week. Yeah. Or whenever he comes back over. <clears throat> yeah, because I know I'm, ne I'm never touching that other beer again. Yeah, that's... Uh... <sighs> this one, though, not bad. If it's at a party, I mean... I'll try to find something else actively, but if this is all they have and I'm really thirsty, I'll take it. So is this, which one, what's the best beers that we've had still? Kona? I think Kona. Kona and Top Shot was pretty good. Or Shock Top. This one's a little, what other beers have we tried? Well, we did the Bud Light, which is a basic beer. I think Bud Light is like straight up down the road, because, I mean, it's just Bud Light. So let's say Bud Light is just middle beer, fucking that's just a five, just average, just beer. Yeah, just average. This one, I'd give it like a five and a half, a six, maybe. Five and a half. Just for the effort of putting the pumpkin in there. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind. So, like, if I got this when I was trick-or-treating... I mean, for a Halloween be, party, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, that'd be all right. Because, I mean, it is around the time when you should be drinking this, I guess. It's Halloween time, but... Oh, well. <clears throat> Here it is, almost summertime, and we're just... <laughs> we're drinking this beer that expired, like, two weeks ago, with an elf on it. Look at him. He knows what he's doing. Goddamn Tommy Knocker. I wonder if you could do the tour of this. Pretty sure he could. Yeah, so it's up in Idaho Springs. Tommy Knocker Brewery and Pub. So, I think, yeah, it's, well, five and a half. Even for just two people here, it's still a fucking long ass video. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so, that was our reviews for this week, I guess. Um, yeah, so this one's at about five and a half, six, I'd give it. The other one, since it's, it's. I think we gave Red Stripe, no, I think we gave it a three. We gave it a three or four. I don't remember. All I know is we're gonna have to start writing these down and have it on. We gotta board. have a store a scoreboard. <laughs> we'll have to do that. We'll like rewatch the videos and do that. But that other one, four and a half, or just four. Yeah, it's Ugh, pine and beer. That's a stupid idea. <clears throat> I don't know who thought of that, but I don't know who if if any of you, yeah any of you guys have ever had. The beer that the, what was that, 101? No, 10 beer brewing, or 10 barrel brewing company or whatever. And the trail head, or trail beer. Let us know if you liked it, or if you just thought it was just gross, or if, what do you think about Tommy Knockers? Um, yeah, so let us know in the comments. So, we will see you guys, hopefully with the Chungus next week. Be or sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.